Are you a blueprint bozo or are you a blueprint chat? Here are the top 10 mistakes that Factorio players make while using blueprints. Right, so the first and most obvious one is that you maybe aren't hitting B to open your blueprint library. That's right. Then you also have your game blueprints, which you can share with everybody in the server. So if you want to just make a copy of something here, you can click the create a copy of this and you can go over here and put it right in the game blueprints. That way anyone in your server can access those blueprints. That can be a good way to standardize things. So yeah, make sure you're just tapping that B button. All right. Well, maybe you're this guy who's trying to do Morse code with your blueprints or something, but uh, yeah, you don't really need to do that. You can do blueprintception here with blueprint books. So you can make a blueprint book and you can put a blueprint book inside a blueprint book and well, you can just keep on going. It's going to give you folders, folders to put all of your blueprints in. So as you can see here, space age, then for the uh, then the planets and well ships spaceships inside of space age use blueprint books to keep yourself organized Do it. Don't be a blueprint bozo and share your Stop blueprints it. raw Get in me. your discord and other chats Be a blueprint shad and use a blueprint sharing site like factoriobin.com or factorioprints.com Are you using snap to grid properly? Take a look here, we have the 36 by 36 grid of a two by two substation grid. And that's set to snap to absolute positioning. And that allows it to snap to the world grid. So no matter where I go and start building, it will always come back to the same grid and connect. You can also use control and the arrow keys to move the absolute grid positioning or you can use shift arrow key to change where the items are on the grid grid positioning relative is more useful for example with mining drills you can place it anywhere you want and then as soon as you click and hold you can then place relative to that position where you started. Using the upgrade planners, you just click on this thing here or that's all to you if you don't have that. And then you can just open that up by right clicking and you can change anything to basically anything else. You can change quality. Well, not anything to anything else, but you know, if you got yellow transport belts, you can change them to the greens. You can actually apply that to another blueprint. So for example, let's make a blueprint here to upgrade assembly machines to legendary assembly machines. Also scrolling alt and scrolling to change the quality here without having to click it. You can just alt and scroll through quality. And that works if you have a, something in hand as well. Just a pro tip, kind of off topic, but you can alt scroll through to get different qualities. So anyways, we create an upgrade planner for assembly machines to legendaries. And then if I go to this build anything machine here, then you can go to upgrade items and entities in the blueprint. And then you can apply that one. And there you go. Now this will be a legendary assembly machine in the blueprint, not using deleter blueprints. So here I've just got a book of deleters, really, really handy. And you can target anything specifically. So. The ones I use the most are trees and rocks. This is just by clicking trees and rocks only. Of course, you can press Alt D to destroy everything, right? But you can also use Alt D and then put that in as a as a deconstruction planner. And then you can right click that and well, there you go. There's trees and rocks. So that's that's the same thing. I just changed the icon cliffs. Is just that cliffs you can find cliffs in here Fulgora scrap so I've created one that's just every Fulgora scrap piece without doing the lightning attractors this is a medium Fulgora ruin so yeah you can really target exactly what you wanted to take out of things so if you wanted to take out all of the lights or all of the power poles from somewhere then you can do that with ease using the deconstruction planners. Not using the selection tool to take out blocks that you want. So for example, if I'm over here and I'm trying to blueprint this whole thing and you still got these roboports in there, you can just right click on them and they won't be in the blueprint anymore. 
You can also take out modules with these filters over here. So you could take out anything. You can also add it back by just re-clicking on it, left clicking on it. And then you can also do this similarly with trains. So if you wanted to blueprint a train, oh, well, where'd the train go, right? Just include trains in the checkbox. Vehicle fuel, yes or no, you can have that or not. Tiles, again, you can have that and entities. So if you just have trains, maybe include the fuel. There you go. Using parameterization effectively, are you setting down a whole bunch of storage containers and then setting the filters by hand? No more. That's right. Using blueprint parameterization, you can just check the blueprint parameter and that will turn it into, well, a questionnaire, right? So if I do this and we say, let's, and then we blueprint that. Now, when I go to the blueprinting, it's going to have that icon and you just say, what item? We just created this one together. And then there you go. It's going to ask you as soon as you put it down, what item? And there you go. Just makes life so much easier when you are using blueprints. And that can be super effective, especially for the Fulgora recycling thing that I have here, where I have different qualities on each one. Then I can blueprint that whole thing. And I can go to the parameter and take that one item and say, what item? So I can create this once. And I can come back here and say, what item? Bulk inserter, for example. There we go. But now you can see that each one has the proper quality. The filters have the proper quality and everything. So use parameterization to make your life easier. There's also more complex parameterizations. So just drop a comment down if you want to learn more about parameterization. The number one biggest mistake you can do with blueprinting is not using blueprinting at all. Are you the guy who's just going around copying every little bit of your factory and then placing it over there when you need it? No, don't do that. No more. That's right. Just press Alt B and you can easily blueprint anything you want, anytime. There you go. And there you, and you can just save it. Make sure you organize it into your blueprint books by tapping B and you'll be golden. You'll be a charting Chad in no time. All right, that's it for now. Bye for now. Bye for now. Uh, Editor Phil here. Yeah, don't forget uh, all the blueprints that you see in my games are available in the Discord. So just join up that Discord and you'll find the blueprints there. Always happy to help answer questions as well. That's it. Bye-bye.